Hello friends, today we are going to test the video card based on AMD Radeon R7 370. iChai's company continues to gladden us with a wide variety of AMD product modifications. This time we are going to talk about AMD Radeon R7 370 version, which has an advantage of branded cooler IceQX2 and factory overclocking. Let us remind you that practically AMD Radeon R7 370 is just a slightly upgraded version of Radeon R7 265 with higher clocked frequencies. Let's consider the other special features the new product has compared to other versions of the video card. This new card comes in a cotton with traditional HIS design, a small box oriented vertical end of blue tints. Supply set includes a CD with drivers and utilities, UDES manual and DVI-I2 D-SUB adapter. Accordingly, if your power supply unit does not have 6-pin PCIe cables, then we will have to find appropriate adapters beforehand. iChase R7370 Ice QX2 OC 2GB is made on the branded circuit board of blue color. As you can see, basic rules of the key elements layout are quite standard. Power supply of the tested video card is implemented by six-phase scheme, five phases for the GPU and one for the memory chips. In this case, the component base includes exclusively reliable solid-state capacitors, ferrite choke coils and TRMOS microchips, which should contribute to the long-term operation of the product. Additional power supply is provided by means of two six-pin connectors located on the video card sidepiece. Such a close proximity to the cooler makes power supply cable connection and disconnection a bit complicated. The tested video card is based on AMD Trinidad Pro graphics chip, which is defined as AMD pit carrying by means of GPU Z0.8.6 utility. It has 124 stream processors, 32 rasterization units and 64 texture units. The GPU operating frequency has been increased up to 1000 MHz with respect to 975 MHz recommended. The cat memory of 2 GB total capacity is assembled with 8 Samsung chips, which operate at recommended effective frequency of 5600 MHz. Data exchange between the graphics processor and the memory is implemented through 256-bit bars, which bandwidth makes a little more than 179 GB per second. There is a modified set of audio outputs for image displaying, which includes two mini display ports instead of one display port. The graphics adapter description gives us a clue that its cooling system includes a branded cooler, namely IceQX2 cooler. Total length of the video card, including the dual slot cooling system installed, makes 277 mm as measured in our lab. The very cooler consists of a massive radiator, which includes a low profile radiator with 42 nickel plated aluminum plates. It is designed for heat removal from components of subsystem power supply and from memory chips. There are also two fans with an impeller of 86 mm in diameter, as well as an aluminum case that covers the entire construction from the top. Five nickel plated copper heat pipes of 6 mm in diameter are used to inform heat distribution over the entire area of the radiator. The copper base contacts with the GPU through a small layer of thermal paste. Cooler efficiency has been increased by using a solder to gain contact of heat pipes with radiator ribs and with a fairly large copper base. The graphics core temperature reached 54 degrees by automatic fan speed control and at maximum load. The cooler was operated at 21% of its maximum capacity only. In this case, the noise was very low. With no load, the GPU temperature did not exceed 33 degrees and the noise level produced was pretty low. In total, the cooling system IceQX2 showed its best features, ensuring appropriate temperature records as well as performed a very low noise level in day-to-day -day operation. As you can see, productive efficiency of HISR7370 IceQX2 OC 2GB is quite enough to be in advance of its competitor NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti by almost 18% on average in all the tests. But NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950 version has an advantage of the tested card by 14.3% on average and by 13% relative to full HD tests only. 
It was very interesting to compare the tested model to 4GB version of R7370 within AMD internal model series. As a result, the total benefit of the latter made 2% on average. And 2GB version of Radeon R9 380 took the lead of 38% on average. As you can see in this case, an efficient graphics processor is much more important than capacity of video memory. In total, processing power of HISR7370 IceQX2 OC 2GB is quite enough for a mid-range gaming system aimed exclusively on Full HD resolution. We managed to increase the GPU frequency up to 1142 MHz using MCI Afterburner 4.2.0 utility and without increasing the voltage. The gain amounted to 14%. Video memory has been overclocked up to 1585 MHz, 13% gain compared to reference value. During overclocking, the cooling system was set to maximum performance mode. As you can see, the GPU temperature didn't exceed 47 degrees. As a result, we have managed to achieve a gain of 12.4%, which allows to minimize the lag from NVIDIA GeForce DTX 950 and to increase the gap between competitors. Video card HISR7370 IceQ X2 OC 2GB is a very successful modification of AMD Radeon R7370. It compares favorably with good manufacturing quality, reliable component base, as well as an excellent overclocking potential. In addition, we should also consider the branded cooling system IceQ X2, which made a very good impression due to an excellent conjunction of performance efficiency and low noise level in day-to-day -day operation. If you decide to implement the sufficiently high overclocking potential of the new product to your full extent, then you will have to bear with high noise level at a maximum rotation speed of the fan blades, but it would be quite a comparable allowance. As for the graphics card features, it is worth considering only a bit of trouble when connecting and disconnecting of additional power connectors as the cooling system prevents this to some extent. As a result, this cut is recommendable for using in a mid-level gaming system, ensuring comfortable playing of modern games at Full HD resolution. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!